All this takes place against the backdrop of Adipec 2022, which will be held in Abu Dhabi from the 31st of October until November the 3rd. And my special guest today is Mansour Al Hamad, the CEO of Mubadala Energy. Mansour, hello and a very warm welcome to the show. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Mansoor, let me start by asking you, how has Mubadala Energy adapted to the energy transition? Back in 2017, uh, after the oil price crash, we uh, decided to take a step back and look at where our strategic strengths were and uh, where we want to be in 10 years. We realized from that that the gas will play a key role and that we have a strong position that enables us to be part of the energy transition. So uh, recently, we have acquired 22% stake in the Tamar gas field in Israel. And our operated gas project in Malaysia, Pigaga, achieved full production this year. Adding to that, recently, we have recorded significant gas discoveries in Southeast Asia. All of that contributed to reaching to 70% gas weighting. This is important because we believe and we share the view that in order to, have a, to, to reach into a sustainable future, gas will play a vital role as a bridge fuel. It's 50% less carbon emitting than coal. We have launched our strategy to continue building on our heritage and expanding and map the path uh, for the future, the energy uh, transition. So we'll continue to leverage on our strength in gas, expand in the gas value chain and LNG, and create opportunities from the new energy space of blue hydrogen and carbon capture. Our aim is to be, play a vital role and being proactive in the energy transition as part as going, continuing to be the international future energy champion of Abu Dhabi for sustainable future. Can you explain a little bit more about the strategy for the business as you look forward? In particular, how and where do you see Mubadala Energy entering into new energy sectors? Yeah, I think there is a broad consensus from our sector that the industry needs uh, to focus on gas as a bridge fuel as well explore areas in, in new energy space of hydrogen and carbon capture. Uh, and this, this was really encouraging uh, because it gives a strong signal. Uh, the strategy that we've set ourselves is the right one. Uh, however, the challenge is twofold. To be able to expand in the new energy zone, I think that's something that we need to be taking major steps in, especially uh, the growth of the hydrogen is developing really fast. However, it's immature. And uh, the number of opportunities, therefore, are a bit uh, quite small and uh, highly competitive. It's, so far, there's no answer, to be honest. But I think uh, for us, we believe that the core value of here, where the core value of partnerships, that's going to play a key role in order to be able to continue exploring these areas and expanding these areas. We uh, have, over the years, built a strong partnerships. That's where we are working proactively with our partners to learn, support, and create opportunities in this new area. It's also about people. We are investing in trainings and upskilling in this new area to get our people prepared for our next chapter of the story. Well, speaking of the future, Mubadala Energy is celebrating its 10th birthday. Uh, where do you see the business in the coming decade? I think Mubadala Energy have developed and grown significantly in the last 10 years. And uh, it's reasonable that, therefore, we will imagine that we will continue with the same trajectory for the next decade. Uh, our main uh, focus and goal is to expand our gas portfolio, uh, continue uh, exploring opportunities that provides long-term value uh, in the blue hydrogen and carbon capture. Uh, and in addition, decarbonizing our business through deploying technologies and driving efficiencies. I think this is something that is uh, very important uh, for the energy transition. Uh, Mubadala Energy, I believe, can and will be an important pillar to Abu Dhabi's position as uh, reliable, sustainable, 
uh, responsible energy provider. And uh, as part of this, we see ourselves playing a key role in, in, in the energy transition. New brand marks a major pivot for the business. So my question to you is, what do you hope people will take away from the new profile and refreshed strategy? I hope and I would like people to recognize that we have a strong conviction uh, of our role in the energy transition. And I'd like people to understand that we have a clear strategy to deliver on our vision. And I hope uh, that our partners and stakeholders are excited as we are in this journey. My last question is a forward-looking one as we count down towards ADIPEC 2022. We're very much looking forward to seeing you there on the ground. My question is, what are you looking to achieve there? This is an important event. I think it's time for us to showcase our uh, brand in a way that demonstrates our uh, position as an international arm of Abu Dhabi in the energy sector. And it's time for us to tell our story to our guests in Adibic and uh, show how our track record demonstrate our capabilities to achieve this uh, ambitious for the future. And there we must leave our conversation, but we wish you every continued success and thank you for speaking to me today. It's my pleasure and thank you to you too as well. Thank you.